A lot of artists who are super, super creative struggle because they have to do business all on their own. Focusing on creativity has always been a problem. And because you can't focus, you struggle to build attention, which is what you do naturally because you're too worried about making money from the music, right? Broke artist syndrome. Right now you're overwhelmed because business is not something that artists naturally do. It's on the logical side, right? You're on the creative side. But it would be foolish to think that the music could stand on its own without a good marketing effort put forth to generate the attention that you need to eventually make the money. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna think of some ways, or I'm gonna show you some ways rather, that you can generate a lot of attention, set the business aside, and then we'll come back to the business a little bit later. I'm not going to leave your business hanging, but we're going to simplify some things for you so you're not so frustrated. Coming up right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham. Last month, I designed this very strategy I'm going to give you for an artist that called me uh, as a frequent caller of mine. And I said, you know what? I think all artists are struggling with this. I'm going to give the same strategy to you all. And as a music business consultant and strategist, this is my duty to handle this issue for you. All right, let's hop into it. The first point in the strategy that I created was attention first, money second. If you're a one person team, you'll want to focus on creativity and money second. OK, with enough attention built up, the help you need will recognize the opportunity to make money with your untapped resources. However, this doesn't mean neglecting your logical business side. Just put 30 percent of the effort into the business and 70 percent into creativity and be aware of any snakes that come along. This method frees up the pressure and reserves logical issues for forthcoming help. By then, the fans will be ready to shop with you anyway. OK, so with all, let's let's say just just picture this. You build up a bunch of attention social media wise. Your followers are there. It's like, yo, it's popping, popping, popping. If you say, hey, look, man, I really need some help monetizing my audience and getting my business together. This is what I've done. The fans are ready. It's not going to be hard to get some help on board for you. It's not because they're going to see the money just like you do. It's just that as a creative, you don't have time to focus on that because you really want to focus on the creativity. Now, I'm not going to leave you 30 percent alone. We'll get to it in a minute. All right. But just keep following me here. Now, you want to tell your backstory. Telling your backstory is a powerful way to create relatability and connection with your audience. As you reflect on your journey, you'll be able to identify your unique selling points, which will help you tackle your internal problem of feeling overwhelmed. Follow me. Sharing your story also shows you the importance of inspiring others. And it also addresses the philosophical problems of believing that music should stand on its own. OK, like I said in the beginning, people want to know who you are. Why not tell them who you are? Don't make them like thirst for it. Like tell them. Because they want to know this. And if they know who you are, then they're going to continue to support you. Now, the more you document, which is what we're going to get into, the more people will come that are related to you and your interests. I've been saying this on the channel. But anyway, you got to tell the backstory and the history because they know where you're coming from. They can see where you're going and they're going to follow and they're going to hop on the bandwagon. Now, you want to document this process. Documenting your journey forward is essential to building an engaged audience. By sharing behind the scenes content, you can create consistent content without feeling overwhelmed because the content practically writes itself. Right. So you don't have to struggle to do this. This approach also gives transparency to the audience and gives them another reason as to why they are listening and buying from you in the first place. All right. This addresses your problem of balancing artistry with promotion, because I know it's hard to create this content. But remember, the content is always all around you. You just have to figure out the position that you want the camera to be in to showcase what you do. You know what I mean? Like, how do you want it to be shot? So figure that one out. But as long as you continue to document your journey, we're going to love it. We're going to love you anyway for it. All right. You want to use confessional style shooting if you're going to use a camera and you're doing it on your own. Confessional style shooting is another effective strategy to foster deep connections with fans. By revealing your authentic self through the art of storytelling, you can create content with minimal production requirements that boost your output. You normally see the style of shooting in reality shows. OK, this approach emphasizes the importance of being genuine in today's music landscape. The best storyteller wins the game. That's where we are right now. We're in the I feel like we're really you, you're probably hearing this from a lot of people in the music industry, especially on YouTube now. 
Storytelling is the name of the game. It's not that it hasn't always been, but this is becoming the new buzzword. Hey, you got to tell your story, man, because people want to hear it. Now, when you use this confessional style shooting, picture a reality show where they show the main footage and then they have someone in a confessional booth. You can do this yourself and it becomes a lot easier. So therefore, if you just need to explain a clip of something happening, it's a lot easier to do and a lot easier on ed- on your editor to make this happen. That way you can just turn out content a lot easier. You know what I mean? All right. Now, here we go with the regular vlog storytelling. Vlog storytelling is an excellent way to keep fans engaged with regular updates on your musical journey. Now, by sharing your thoughts and experiences, you can create content without overthinking the process. This method demonstrates that storytelling is an essential part of music promotion. So you see this when it's not with the camera on you, so to speak. You don't have to shoot with the camera on you. You can, but if it's only a one person team, just take clips throughout the day and eventually just show us the story, the vlog. It's like a quick documentary and you just do a quick voiceover. This is content that we will love, that we can consume. I wouldn't use this all the time. I know some people do this all the time, but again, you don't want to take away from your creativity of the music, but you do want to keep the audience engaged on what you're doing. So this is one way to do it. You can do it in 60 seconds. You can do them a lot quicker than taking a full, I don't know, you know, three or four minutes to do these things. Do them, do them in 60 seconds, do them in 30 seconds. So it's a lot less on you. Figure out what it is you can do and how you can shoot the content to raise the attention, but keep the pressures of production off of you, but still make it look good. I know it's a, it's a fine line to straddle in all directions, but this is going to help you now. Micro music videos, you all know how I feel about them. Micro music videos can help you reach wider audiences by creating shareable short form content. Now this approach allows you to produce engaging music videos without breaking the bank. Additionally, micro music videos emphasize the power of visual storytelling and music promotion. The micro music videos save you on budget. They allow you to stretch a song a lot longer. And if people really respond well to these videos, you can say that, okay, let's really move forward with the promotion of this song. If they don't respond well to the videos, then we'll go to the next song. But if they do, let's shoot a full video. I got another video on shooting full videos, but we can shoot a full video and we can push that video. Now, general music content. Diversifying your content with general music content can attract different segments of your audience by showcasing your ability to be entertaining in a raw, intimate setting. You can tackle your pressures of what type of content to produce. Now, this approach reinforces the idea that musicians should be multifaceted in their promotion, addressing your problem of believing music can stand on its own. So the music itself, yeah, you want people to listen to it. But what if you broke apart what it took for you to create it by showcasing your talent? So if you're a guitar player, just play some riffs on the guitar, sing some cover songs or whatnot. If you're a drummer, if you're a music producer, just showcase yourself making the beat. Showcase yourself looking for samples. Whatever it is, showcase the process. Show some other musical music ability other than saying, hey, here's my song, here's my song, here's my song. Let us see some other artistic elements of what it took to make the song. And we'll love it for general music content because it still showcases your ability, but it gives you content without you having to think too hard about it. Like I said, content is made, it's all around you. It's happening every second that's content. It is what it is. Now, your question is, will I lose my artistic integrity by focusing on marketing? It's almost impossible to lose integrity in your storytelling unless you're lying. Now, you can create a facade, but that's only going to last for so long. If people know it's a facade, then great. If you build it so that people understand it is not real, you build a character and people understand it's a character, great. But the more you lie in your storytelling about yourself physically, people are going to test you on it as you grow. And when they find out that what you're saying is not true, your whole career comes tumbling down behind it. You get what I'm saying? And we know this to be true. Now, do I have the time and resources to create all this content? In the beginning, you may have the time to shoot confessionals, but as you grow, you will have to allocate time more carefully. Of course, you'll get people to help you out. But in the beginning, like this is all you. Remember, we're building attention first before you get the help. So your sources, your resources are dependent upon your situation. And that's true. Now, will these strategies work for my specific music genre? It works for any music genre. Now, some of you all are doing this. You're building this attention because you have no manager, meaning you have nobody to really help you with the business side. And you also don't understand the business side of this music industry. It's very confusing and you have a lot of misinformation out here. 
I'm not one of those guys, okay? So I really work in the back end. And I know that when you're building all this attention, you're going to need a base to build it on. Because when the manager steps in, they're going to start helping you with things that they might not even know. They might not know how this stuff goes, and you need to have some stuff prepared for them for when they come. So your foundation needs to be laid all ready for when they come. So that's the 30% we were talking about in the beginning of this video. And we're going to do it like this with my course, the 60 day record label course. It's a framework to establish your record label in a perfect 60 day sequence. You're gonna need one anyway because you are your own record label. So we're gonna build your LLC and bank account flawlessly. They're gonna to fit together like hand and glove with anonymity. And then we're gonna set up your records and publishing division to collect domestic and international publishing royalties without the middleman taking 15%. We're gonna save that 15% so that you can have it for later if you so need to do another publishing deal down the road. And then we're gonna utilize the contract templates inside to get you in the game right away so you can understand what you're dealing with in this game as things begin to come across your table because you've generated so much attention. Now, all this stuff is covered that you see below, BMI, ASCAP, Sound Exchange, the MLC, Music Reports, Harry Fox, agency illuminate all music isrc.com some music distributors and much more that's all included this is all it is 275 five easy payments of 55 bucks i'm not taking too much you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day i want you to book a call with me so we can develop a winning strategy for you to win Okay, and I'm open to all questions as well. You can do that on the website, musicmoneymakeover.com. Now, if this is your first time watching the video or my channel, grab the free stuff below. I encourage you to do so, all right? But ultimately, this is where we're gonna be. Increased fan base and audience engagement will be due to the fact that you started building attention in the first place. And this will give you improved online presence and visibility. This is what we wanted because that's going to give us greater revenue from music sales and streams, which leads to more opportunities for collaborations and partnerships. And eventually your help will come. Right. We built we used the 30 percent. We built our business with the 60 day record label. Your help will come. Collaborations, partnerships are coming and then you'll get enhanced credibility in the music industry. And then personal and artistic growth will happen due to the fact that you just really focus on that creativity and you develop that portion of yourself in what you do. So I'm not straddling away from the business, but if you're the type of person who is so creative and you need to focus on that creative, then a record deal is probably for you. However, I still want you to build your foundation with the 60 day record label, but this is where I don't want you to be generating stagnant or declining audience engagement because you were focusing on the business too much and you were getting anxiety. Don't be that person. Just go back to the creative side. We'll build your foundation and then management will come. Take your time, but you're probably going to be getting limited growth in music revenue if you're focusing on the business and you're getting anxiety and you're scared and you're not moving, but you're also not creating either. And this will cause you to miss opportunities for collaborations and partnerships because the creative side doesn't look great. Many partnerships and collaborations will come in the beginning due to what your creative look like looks like and not necessarily your business. Of course, you can get more money if the business is together, but like I said, it will come. So focus on the creative side, build the attention, and we'll get back to the collaborations and partnerships later. Don't end up here. I want you to be right here. By applying some of the steps that we talked about in today's video, you can at least move from where you are now to generating more attention that will eventually create more revenue for you. You see what I'm saying? So it takes the, the frustration off of the business side, like, ah, I don't know, I can't do this, I can't do that. And we're just, we're just gonna put it all on creativity and creating attention. Let's create attention first so you can build more revenue when the help comes along to help you out. And that's where we need to be, all right? You're way better off than someone who hasn't generated anything. All right, music money makers, if you make music, you should always make money. Visit musicmoneymakeover.com, jump into the 60-day record label, book a call there, download the free stuff below, and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>